there is also at this time a celebration of fiction, which seems rather strange because, of course, the photography is, a quote, taking a picture of the real world. Well, yes and no. That sort of fictional eye, I guess, arises from cinema and the fact that it really grew in, in the 20th century. But it was advanced also by the rise of videography and the use of the camera as a narrative and metaphorical tool. So that if you can use it to make movies, why not use a still camera to make the same thing? We can take a photograph which has nothing to do with an invented dialogue and combine the two. Does it make a third statement and what does it say? about both the word and the image. Cindy Sherman created a whole series of work where she dressed herself up in self-portraits as different fictional characters. No context, no narrative about them, simply her image. Or someone like Sandy Scoglin, who did whole elaborate sets and put live models in them. This is Radioactive Cats. This is not Dan's Kitchen. Or The Revenge of the Goldfish. Symbological in one sense, constructivist in another. It's very, very fascinating what's there. I've always liked this photograph by Dwayne Michaels. This photograph is my proof. It's my proof that we were there, that I did love someone. Look, you can see it for yourself, because it's a photograph. Only, of course, these people were models in an image. So it celebrates the lie that created it to begin with. There's also an attempt to study the historical resonance of what goes on there, too. That the fact that the camera does have a history. That there are 19th century photographs that predate it. There are earlier images that are, mo that are made. And how do we adapt to those? How do we reflect upon those? The documentary photographs from the 30s. Some of them were canceled out by Roy Stryker when he worked with the FSA. And now another photographer has come along and found the ones that Stryker actually punched a hole in and reprinted them and reissued them. Are they invalid? Are they a modernist statement upon a methodology that Stryker used? It's asked an interesting question when you see a series of these on the wall. Others have simply rephotographed sites within 20, 30, 50 years of one another and how they've changed. Or they've taken family photographs and printed them in modern settings from the same point of view and made a contrast of historical image with present setting. Or in the case of Anna Prolongia Smith where she actually took Curtis's imagery that is on your left as you look at this and made her own statement. Because, of course, Curtis photographed the American Indian at the start of the 20th century. And at the end of the 20th century, Anna, who is of Indian heritage, India as in the nation, did her own pictures in reflection and in satire of this. You have the photographs that imitate art. And you have the ones that create and generate their own thoughts as well. You can make things on cloth, as in the case with this photographic quilt. Or you can make them with simple hand cameras, the toy camera, the Diana. You can even make imagery on photochemistry without a camera. You can affect the emulsion with different acids or different washes, etch it, and make a print from it. The cinematic influences, of course, are there. I mentioned video technology. It continues to have a huge impact, and it continues to be absorbed in our variation. Your cameras in your pocket, your modern cell phones, can take video imagery, too. This the cover of News Photographer, with 9-11, 2001. They chose for the cover of News Photographer not a still camera image, but a video camera image. Made, of course, as a still image from a video section. Photographers have used this sequence and staging throughout the latter part of the 20th century. 
You see it in the way images are set up. You see it in the way they are very much fictions in their own. You can see it if you examine what looks like a mundane picture, for example. This is the entire print. Doesn't mean much really, it just looks like a snapshot of a city until you go in and see that part of it, part of the drama was staged in the picture. It makes you pay attention to what's there, what's hidden, what's not.